Hey guys, so in today's video, we're going to solve this question minimum absolute difference in an array. And this question is on HackerRank. For the people who don't know what HackerRank is, it's basically a platform where you can solve questions on different topics, and algorithmic and data structures are one of them. So, what this question basically asks us to do is we need to find the minimum absolute distance difference between two elements in an array which means for example if we have this array 3 minus 7 and 0 we have to find what is the minimum difference between any two elements of this array and we have to take the absolute value which means it doesn't matter if the difference is in negative or positive we have to consider only the positive value for example if the difference comes out to be minus 7 we take it as 7 and now there are two ways we can go about this the first way would be to just loop through the whole array in a nested loop like you would go from uh, you check the difference between each and every element and uh, just compare which one is the minimum but what I think a better way would be to first sort the array in an ascending order and then just check the difference between the adjacent elements as um, so as we know if we take a nested loop, the time complexity would be O of n square. But when we take the sorting approach, it would be O of n log n which is a considerable uh, uh, improvement over nested loop so that's why we'll choose the sorting option and so what we'll do is first uh, we'll just sort this array and it's just this much and the array is sorted now we'll just take uh, and we're able to see uh, to keep track of our minimum difference and min diff so we need OA to represent a large number, a large positive number. So we'll just use inf and this is in the math module of Python. Import inf and this, uh, this represents positive infinity. And now what you need to do is for i in range len of r minus one. So we what this will do is it will take i from uh, 0 to len of r minus 2 and that is because uh, you'll see why we did this because when we check the difference we'll check the absolute difference between uh, the position in array at uh, position i and uh, the element at uh, the position i plus 1 so if we didn't add this minus one over here it would have uh, given us an array uh, an error saying index out of bound yeah so that's why we did this and if diff is less than minimum difference then we say our minimum difference is diff so i think it's a pretty simple approach and efficient too for this question and then it's just about returning the min diff that's about it so let's try running it now and as you can see we passed the sample test cases so now let's just try submitting it um, it's taking quite a while so let's just see what happens yeah so that's about it we did the question we have got it correct <laughs> and we also got 15 points great